Sun's gonna go down in a couple of hours. You afraid of the dark? What the hell was that? Skinwalkers are here. Skinwalker ain't no such thing. <laughs> We are talking Blood Moon from 2014. This is directed by Jeremy Wooding and is a Western werewolf movie. Actually a British movie but made to look like it's obviously uh, from America with American accents and everything. What's the story? Well it focuses on a stagecoach of people who include a, a kind of a lawman, a gunslinger, a couple of women, a reporter, and uh, they end up in this kind of um, ghost town, for lack of a better word. Uh, at the same time, there's two outlaws that also turn up at this um, kind of ghost town. And uh, there's an altercation, you might say. And uh, things turn even worse when there seems to be a werewolf, or as they refer to it in this movie, a skinwalker stalking this area who wants to kind of kill them all. Now what will happen, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss what we think about Blood Moon. Now this is a low budget indie movie, but I was surprised at the production value on this one, to be honest. Um, it is low budget and that does show through, but nonetheless, there are a couple of things here I was genuinely impressed with. So it looks like it's been filmed on one of these kind of like Western, uh, Old West kind of like um, theme attractions. So we have like a fully formed um, kind of Western town. So it, it looks pretty good and we get a lot of external shots in this movie. I think sometimes, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll film like, a, you know, one day on these kind of, sort of uh, uh, sequences and you get a couple of, it, you know, establishing shots, but here, I've got to say, we get, you know, a lot of outside action, a lot of kind of like, you know, so we can see the town and the forestry area, and there's a few obviously internal shots as well. But even the, even that kind of the um, the internal shots, I've got to say, I was really impressed with the kind of the, the location shooting and the kind of the set decoration here, because I was like, damn, this actually looks quite good. Uh, you know, so I was kind of quite impressed with the kind of the whole kind of Western setup here. And considering this is an English movie with uh, the cast doing kind of American accents, it mostly works. Um, again, it's something you'll see a lot in uh, UK movies. They'll tend to kind of have some of their actors and sometimes all of them put on American accents to kind of fool American audiences because they don't want to listen to English accents apparently. Now obviously it makes sense if you're doing a western because obviously you're taking place in the uh, the old west. So it, it obviously it makes sense in context to the kind of the actual movie itself. Um, the next thing I'll sort of talk about is the the actual werewolf. It kind of looks a little bit like uh, the werewolf from the 1987 TV series called Werewolf. But I was impressed that we've gone for a full kind of like big kind of like bipedal werewolf, fully snouted. And it looks a little clunky, I'm not going to lie. But I've got to say it looks very intimidating, very kind of bestial. And I kind of quite liked it. I'm a bit forgiving with the kind of like, you know, some VFX and kind of practical effects. And I much prefer this to kind of some ropey kind of CGI. So I'm going to say I quite enjoyed the werewolf. It's not particularly like it has an animated face. It's kind of has this kind of perma growl all the time. But... I kind of liked it. Like I said, if you've seen the, the 87 Werewolf TV series, it's very, very much like that. So it kind of looks look more like a bear in some ways. I have to say, I thought the movie was shot very well. It's kind of obviously taking place primarily at night. Um, you know, we have some kind of daytime shot, shots where we have it in the beginning of the movie where we see a kind of a bank robbery that kind of sets up these outlaws and things like that. But I've got to say, I thought it was pretty well shot. And in, the, in, the, in the scenes that take place in the night, you can kind of still see that it's obviously what's kind of going on, but it's clearly still taking place in the, in the night. They're not doing kind of day for night shots here. It's kind of relatively kind of well lit. I think the camera work is sometimes quite inventive. So the direction uh, as well, I think, it, you know, it's fairly kind of well kind of put together. Again, for a, you know, with a prefix, this is a lower budget movie. Um, 
you know, it's it, and it's quite a kind of a fun story with some kind of like quite fun characters. We're introduced to this kind of like uh, plethora of different characters, and they're, they're all pretty fun. I mean, they're a little bit kind of hokey, I, I, I suppose. But I gotta say, I quite enjoyed each of these characters, all of whom have seemed quite individual. And uh, you kind of, you know, you feel like you've got a good kind of little starboard sides of each of them, so you kind of know rough, broadly what they're kind of about. And like I said, I think the acting was, for the most part, pretty good as well. And it's kind of quite well paced, um, you know, sort of a well kind of put together movie, especially I, I wasn't expecting quite as a well put together film for obviously what's clearly a low budget movie. So it's all pretty good, I have to say. This is one film I, that actually exceeded my expectations, I will say. Do I have any negatives? Um, I will say that the, the ending is a little anticlimactic. I think how things are dealt with seems a little bit kind of uh, anti-cinematic, I will say. Uh, I have to say there is a couple of uh, storylines here that I thought, B-plots maybe, that I didn't really feel went anywhere or what they did go was a little silly. The whole Outlaws um, thing, which gets quite a lot of screen time at the beginning of the movie, I really didn't feel like had a massive impact on the story overall and the characters that I didn't feel have um, didn't go anywhere really it, to be honest and then we have this kind of subplot about this half werewolf and um, I, I will say that sequence with that kind of makeup is pretty terrible uh, the full werewolf looks looks okay I mean you can accept it's a low budget movie but I like the idea behind it but it's half werewolf the transformation actually looks quite good, but when we kind of see the, the full thing, yeah, it's not brilliant. Um, there are some acting choices which are, I, I feel were a little bit kind of ropey. In particular, our main character, who's this gunslinger called Calhoun, he's clearly trying to kind of emulate sort of Clint Eastwood from like The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, but he comes across more like Rick Mail from A Fistful of Travellers Checks if you've ever seen that. So it, it kind of feels like he's more from that. And there's like one of the, one of the kind of like the outlaws as well. I just feel he's kind of like there, the way they're speaking seems a little bit kind of too forced at times, a little bit kind of silly. Um, so, you know, minor quibbles to be honest. And yeah, there are times where it does look a little bit low, low budget, but you know, this to me is as good a film as you could possibly get, I think, with the budget that it's that it's got outside of those kind of few issues that I have. Um, so I've got to say, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I thought that this is a strong recommend for me. And, and it even tries to tie into The Lost Boys. It's almost like this, unofficially of course, is almost um, a prequel to a degree in The Lost Boys. I won't say how that, why or you know what I'm referring to but if you uh, you know keep your ears open you'll hear uh, a fairly direct reference um, but anyway uh, I gotta say I, I, I'd recommend this one if you're like a horror western fan or if you're a, if you're a werewolf fan if you can appreciate you know things can't always be super kind of slick when you're talking about low budget indies I gotta say, I think this one's a, a bit of a winner. I'd give it a seven out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Please do leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.